So I've been using the third generation iPhone SE for a little over three days now. And let's talk about the, the good things first. And then we're going to talk about the bad things because, oh boy, this phone has it. The thing many people will like is the design, believe it or not. The numbers just don't lie. This style of phone sells really big. The design are for those people that don't really care about being trendy or flashy. They just want a phone that works well and does everything they need it to all while being new and cheap and Apple. Another great thing that even I sometimes miss is Touch ID. It, it's fast, it's comfortable, it's reliable, it just works when you want it to. For those that don't really like the facial scanning of the newer and more expensive iPhone models, you're gonna love Touch ID, man. Again, it's probably the most reliable authentication method. In fact, my face ID messes up more than my Touch ID. And I'm, I'm not even lying, that, that's actually true. <laughs> The haptics or vibrating motor on this phone did not take any shortcuts. It feels much more premium than almost any other phone in its price range. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and say it is the most premium feeling haptic engine in any phone in the price range. So how about the battery life of this phone? Well, it's actually insane. Check this out. Seven hours of screen on time. Uh, here are i'll put it on the screen well the apps that i used during those seven hours and then some there's some on the very bottom which i didn't whatever but those i barely used so the main ones are the ones you guys are looking at so if my usage is comparable to your usage well you can also expect roughly seven hours of screen on time which I did not think Apple was going to achieve. I mean, squeezing seven hours of screen on time from a phone that has a 2000 milliamp hour battery and a chip that can ramp up in speed faster than any other mobile chip, is it's, it's crazy. But you know, that craziness ends right about there because let's be honest, no one's really gonna be editing videos on this phone with a 720p display, um, 60 Hertz refresh rate. I mean, no one's, no one's really going to be using this phone for how Apple imagines people are going to use it for with an A15 Bionic. Why does this phone need an A15 Bionic? I don't know, but it does. And I guess with its amazing optimization, it does make the battery last a long time. But it... That was an accident. Sorry. Uh, but it, it actually matters how you use the phone. So if you play a lot of games or do something very heavy such as... For some reason, Snapchat. Snapchat always kills the battery. But if you use a lot of gaming or a lot of Snapchatting, your battery is going to go down pretty darn quick. Because the A15 Bionic, while it is very power efficient, it's only power efficient when you're not really doing much. But when you need the extra power, such as playing games, oh boy, this thing ramps up, dude. This thing gets hot. The screen does dim, by the way. Um, and it, yeah, like I said, it gets very hot when you're charging to the point where the screen dims. So don't play any games when you're charging. That's never a good idea. And speaking of charging, this thing actually charges pretty darn quick. Again, it's only a 2000 milliamp hour battery. I believe it charges at 20 Watts. Um, I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong, but if it, if I'm not wrong, it is at 20 Watts. So 20 Watts of chart are fast charging a 2000 milliamp hour battery really fast, really fast. And now let's go ahead and talk about the downsides because this phone does have them. And one of them really pisses me off because, well, you'll see. The first downside I noticed is connectivity. Oh boy, for some reason, this phone gets worse reception than my iPhone, which, or, or my, my iPhone, let me specify, my iPhone 13 Pro Max. So this phone gets worse rece reception than my iPhone 13 Pro Max, which already got worse reception than most of my Android phones. Apple, what are you doing to the antennas on this phone? I noticed this simply by accident while driving. I was listening to YouTube music. I hit the next button on the steering wheel to go to the next song, and it did not do that. <laughs> Why did it not do that, Mark? Well, that's a great question. No service. And I wasn't even driving like anywhere remote. I was in the city. Apple, how do you have no service? In the city, what are you doing to the antennas on this phone, man? Another downside that gets me very mad, and I might go off on a little tangent here, but... Okay, so, we all know this phone has the A15 Bionic. If you did not know that, now you do. The A15 Bionic is Apple's most powerful chip ever, and it is that same chip that is found in the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and the iPhone 13 Pro, and the iPhone 13, and the iPhone 13 Mini. <laughs> 
So I got the phone, right? And I, uh, I was doing camera tests, as I always do when I get any phone. Then I noticed something. Uh-oh, this phone does not have night mode. What? Are you new to trading or maybe you are an experienced investor looking for a great community to learn more about crypto and the stock market? American Dream Trading is a free Discord community for stocks, crypto, and altcoins. They provide daily training in the group as well as latest news and alert callouts. There is a huge free education area for stocks and crypto, including ebooks and videos. And when you're ready to get more serious, there is a paid group, 100 bucks a month, which does get you one on one training, hot stock picks before the bell, on demand training videos, portfolio reviews, live trading, and more. American Dream Trading members have made over $1 million in profits in 2021, and they are literally changing lives day by day. You can sign up for free at AmericanDreamTrading.com. Again, 100% free, and you can start changing your own life today. How are we in 2022? <laughs> and this is a $430 phone before tax, so like maybe $450 with tax, and uh, it doesn't have night mode. Just to be clear, we're talking about night mode, right? Just night mode. The, the, the thing that's been around for, well, on Android phones, it's been around for like, what, six years something like that six years iphone it's been around since the iphone 11 i think so it's been it's been a little bit there's no night mode here uh clearly it's capable of it okay it's got the i like i said it's got the a15 bionic clearly it is capable of night mode the camera module does not matter to night mode because you want to know why night mode is just a fancy term for long exposure with a little bit of AI. Long exposure, you can do any, uh, uh, you can use any camera lens with long exposure. It, it, it doesn't matter. You can download a third party application right now that gives this night mode. Now it's not gonna be as good as Apple's own dedicated night mode, but you can still have it. So Apple, I gotta ask you a question, man. Why just skip out on night mode? Like I understand, I understand people that get this phone aren't really tech geeks. They're not really nerds, right? They're, they just want a phone. They don't really care. They'll throw it around and no biggie. But I mean, I'll argue that night mode is something that every single person uses, not just um, uh, someone techie and, 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 and you know, a, a phone enthusiast, put it that way. So I guess if you love the form factor of this phone and you really just want this kind of phone, well, according to Apple, you don't really deserve night mode because, well, that's just the way it is or else they would have included night mode in this phone. They did not. So basically, if you're going to be taking photos where there's limited light or even in darkness, the photos look, well, you be the judge, man. <laughs> so my guess is that Apple is just being Apple because after all, if the $250 Pixel 4a can take beautiful night mode shots, there's no reason why the $430 iPhone cannot. It doesn't matter what body it's in. It has the chip. It has the camera. Make it work. Now, you could also make the argument and say, well, Mark, Apple has to kind of upsell you on something. And I agree. But guys, I have a question. Did you see this phone? Everything about this phone screams, hey, buy the next tier up. This phone already upsells you to the next phone. Outdated, outdated design outdated camera one camera by the way not even two cameras just one no night mode starts with 64 gigabytes of storage and like what three gigabytes of ram three or four gigabytes no i think it's three actually three gigabytes of ram everything about this phone already screams hey buy the next tier up so i don't think they uh, apple didn't include night mode to try and upsell you i i really don't think that i think that is i, I mean maybe 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 it is dude i don't know apple apple it make you know does some very questionable uh decisions but it is what it is there's also no magsafe which is a huge missed opportunity apple why out of all the things i would have thought that's what you would have done another thing i don't like about this phone and i'm not really going to call it a downside because it just depends what kind of phone you're coming from but the screen of this phone it's just not good it's a 720p display and okay, fine. I get that it's only 4.7 inches. I get it. Fine. Because yeah, yeah, I know the smaller a screen is, the more compressed the pixels are. 
the better the PPI, the better the perceived resolution. Not resolution. What word am I looking for? Sharpness, I guess. Yeah, I think sharpness. Um, I get it. But trust me, it's very noticeable on this phone. 720p is really noticeable on this phone. But it, again, it depends which phone you're coming from. If you're coming from a very old phone that didn't really have a great display anyway, well, this phone is going to look amazing. But if you're coming from maybe a slightly better display, such as a 1080p display or, or even an OLED display, oh boy, you're going to notice it. So guys, that's pretty much it. Those are my downsides and my upsides. It's a great phone. I, I just wish that Apple just, man, the, the, the night mode software lock is really kind of what just, it, it killed it for me, you know? Like, it was such a fun little phone before that. And then when I noticed it doesn't have night mode for photos, I was like, what the heck? What? Like, why? It's not even like a nerd feature. Like, anyone can benefit from night mode. It's not like, you know, it's not like I'm saying, oh, there's no AR doodle or there's no LiDAR scanner. What the hell, you know? No, even I don't use a LiDAR scanner. I still don't even know, know what it's for other than 3D mapping your room once a year to show to show your friends and then you feel good about it for like five minutes but night mode everyone uses night mode if you have ever taken a picture outside at a past dark with a newer phone that's been around for a, a, you know, a few years now you've also used night mode it's a fantastic feature but it's also software locked so you can thank apple for that so what do you guys think about the third generation iphone se 2022 Man, we got to figure out the naming scheme on this thing. Um, so yeah, let me know down below what you think about this phone. Again, I think it's okay. That's it. This was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.